when I was working in a project in INPE, the National Space Agency in Brazil, to build a biomass map for the Amazon using a new remote sensing technology called uh, LiDAR. This technology uses a laser to survey the surface, including the terrain, the vegetation, buildings, everything. When we were processing the, those data, we identified that we have very, very tall trees. But from the remote sensing data, we cannot say which trees we decided to start to try to reach those trees and to understand more about what is going on on the sites. We planned our first expedition in 2019 to the tallest tree. We tried three times in different directions, but the crew were very tired. The climate is very stressful. We are in a very remote region of the Amazon forests located between two states of Brazil, Amapá State and Pará. And all those sites that we are interested in are located around the Jari River. We were 20 people this time, 10 people from a traditional community that know how to navigate the river, to walk inside the forest. Then we were eight scientists. We had also a physician and also a photographer. We got four days to reach the base camp, to more or less 220 kilometers navigating by boat. Then two days to reach the tree from the base camp is a very big tree. This tree has the same carbon storage like one hectare of a regular forest. We believe, based on some experience, that this tree will be around 400 to 500 years. We are finding that related to the structure of the forest, this site is very unique indeed. To explain why this site is so different from the others is a lot of factors, rain, temperature, but two things are very interesting, that is the indirect light. We are in a very cloudy region and also the wind, uh, low incidence of wind, it seems to help those trees to get such tall heights. The trees are important, especially the big trees, they are important indicators of the health of the forest. We really need to understand how those trees are responding to climate change that we are seeing nowadays. We need to understand more about the ecological aspects to know how to protect those very beautiful trees.